we must cook. All right, that was the intro for making do-it-yourself root tabs. Um, this week, uh, me and my employee actually made the liquid version of aquarium fertilizer. Uh, so I decided to try my luck at making root tabs because uh, last week for clients we needed to order uh, some root tabs to make your plants grow well and I noticed it was $40 for 40 root tabs and those are pretty basic ingredients basically minerals, some soil, some clay how can it cost so much you know so I decided to make some today for my clients and uh, take you along with me for the cookery so I feel like clearly this is like Breaking Bad Jesse and Heisenberg in lab cooking some minerals uh, actually on Wednesday when we did the uh, liquid version we had to wear gloves and you know because it was a lot of very concentrated uh, minerals that we had to use for the liquid version so uh, today, Heisenberg is going to make root tabs. Come with me. So here's what we're going to be using today. Uh, I got some uh, gardening soil. Uh, mainly, very important to have some nitrogen, azot in it, uh, some phosphate, some soluble potash, organic matter, uh, some good quality soil. Uh, we're going to use a very small quantity actually to mix for the amount of root tab we're going to be making. Uh, so I just hope it won't spill all over my kitchen. Hold on. Stay there. Alright, another thing is we're going to be using some uh, liquid plant fertilizer. You can just use uh, the minerals if you have them in a dry version. Um, I will insert a picture right now of the minerals I use for the liquid version of it. Um, so if you have uh, dry minerals that you can pre-measure to these right amounts, you can do it with dry minerals. But in here I have everything already prepared into a liquid version and I just need to mix it to the good ratio. Uh, also, I have a bowl. And I have uh, some red clay that I've pre-moistened a little bit to make it usable uh, so we can make something out of this. I have to record this in segments because I have only one hand and I don't feel like setting up the tripod. So let's get cooking. So for the quantities we'll need for today for making these root tabs is uh, two handfuls or two cups of the soil. I use about uh, six squirts of this. Six good squirts. Both of them kind of have the same mineral, so I don't want to overdo it. How many we put already? Three, four, five. And six. I will add a little bit of water also just to make it a little bit more moist in there. To make it easier for me to mix it up. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. But all in all, we're going to mix it in with the soil, just like this. And make sure removing like the big pieces, you don't need those. So I'm going to put these ones in the trash right now. So actually, let's work smart instead of hard. Why would I remove piece by piece when I can just use this little strainer to uh, do it for me? A little at a time. This might take a while and I need both hands, so bear with me. So as you can see, the strainer works pretty damn well because all the big pieces are here and all the fine soil is here. So I'll do it a little bit more just to remove as much of good soil as possible and then we'll be able to move on to the next stage. Now you need to cut a pretty decent piece of clay, pre-moistened, uh, so it's easy to use the roller to flatten it out. So now I need to flatten out this thing into a piece that would be approximately uh, two, three millimeters thick. Let's do this. Now that the piece has been flattened out, you take some of that mix and you spread it all over the top layer. Okay? Just like this. All over nicely. Now 
Not too much because you want it to go inside of the clay, okay? That's the whole point of this, that it goes inside the clay. So evenly, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Just like this. And then we're going to fold it in half. So it could be a little bit tricky uh, to unglue it from your countertop or wherever you're making this. So before I make a mess, let me pause this. All right, so since the last segment I filmed, uh, the kitchen pretty much turned into a mess and I couldn't touch the camera again. But uh, what happened is I mixed uh, to the initial clay all of the soil that I had and then I flattened it into smaller pieces and cut uh, little squares and little circles uh, about the size of one centimeter by one centimeter or half an inch by half an inch. I was able to make uh, nearly two trays of that and now we're gonna put it at 350 Fahrenheit for two hours. So let's get baking. So our cookies are fresh out of the oven. As you can see, they are nice and dry and ready to be used. So let's try them in the tank. So basically what we're going to do is uh, grab with long, long tweezers or your fingers if you don't have tweezers, uh, a piece of the, these and uh, strategically put it underneath uh, the big plants that you have, like this one in the back. So I'm going to do that. All right, homies, so now you just gotta wait a couple weeks and see uh, if they make your plants grow nicely. Uh, a special thank you to my dear friend Jennifer, an employee that helped me make those amazing, amazing uh, liquid version uh, fertilizers that so far have not killed any of my fish and I've tried in all of my tanks. So I've tried in this one. Uh, the only thing I've noticed about my liquid fertilizer is that it does um, keep the water cloudy for about uh, maybe a day. But uh, other than that, no loss of effects and all the good minerals go into your plants. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will certainly make another one next week. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel. And see you soon. Bye.